Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am The Traveling Man and I come to you today from the port of Fort Lauderdale, Florida where I'm about to embark on the Celebrity Equinox. So I've been on the Celebrity Edge, I've been on the Celebrity Apex, I've been on the Celebrity Beyond, all the newest ships, the billion dollar babies. Now I'm going to see what celebrities really like on this Solstice class ship. And it's boarding day y'all, you're going along with me, I'm going to show you all about it. Got a lot of content coming from onboard the Celebrity Equinox as we head down to the Caribbean. So come on if you're ready. Let's get this adventure started. Here we go, walking the gangway now, boarding the Celebrity Equinox. Very excited to get on board. Uh, it's gonna be a unique boarding experience because like I said, I've never been on a Solstice class before, so I don't even know what to expect the moment I walk on board. So this is gonna be awesome. Welcome officially on board the Celebrity Equinox. my bag because they did have a sign on the door asking uh, for folks not to stay in the room you can drop your bags off uh, but then you must leave but this is the stateroom real quick 9155 this is uh, one of the largest balconies here on board the Equinox so this is pretty cool check this out how deep this balcony is So great view out the window. Um, I will say just first impression, of course, not an edge class ship, so you can tell it is an older decor room. It's not the modern luxury uh, type stateroom that you get on board the edge class ship. So that's one thing. This feels more like Royal Caribbean. Uh, I can't say it's like Carnival because Carnival tends to go with the gaudy appearance sometimes, but this is an older room. This ship came out in 2009. So, uh, yeah, the furnishings are much older. You can see uh, the bedside table is very worn. There's no outlets here um, at the lights. I do understand that some of the celebrity ships have undergone um, revolutionized or been revolutionized. However, the Equinox has not yet, at least not all the ship. I think parts of the ship, but not all of it. And the rooms are um, where you really can see the age. Um, a closet here. And then, of course, the balcony, which is why I booked this room. And let's look at the bathroom really quick. Oh, yeah. A uh, standard bathroom. I don't think they're done cleaning yet, so I'm going to get out of here, just leave my bags and go. But just wanted to show you all my room. So heading out now to explore, the cool thing about this is, as I mentioned, never been on a Solstice class ship, so this is brand new to me. It also means I know where nothing is at, so it's going to be fun to walk. I'm on deck nine, that's where my stateroom is at, so I'm going to start walking the decks. So I'm going to go up first, uh, get on some of the main, uh, the pool deck and the outer decks and check some of that out. But yeah, a really cool vibe. This is like a sort of that first cruise experience, you know, you're on a completely different class of ship and uh, you just don't know what to expect, so it's gonna be great. All right, so came from deck nine up to deck 12, and I believe this is the spa area forward here, but we're gonna go this way into the solarium. Look how nice this is, wow. 
You're getting very open. It also feels very modern. Uh, it does remind me a lot of the solarium on the E-Class ships. This is beautiful. Adults only area, completely covered from the rain, the excessive heat, the elements. This is gonna be a great place to just hang out. See, there's a hot tub over there and also a hot tub over there. And then of course the pool in the middle and then these fountains that I'm pretty sure you can't get in. And then a waterfall, a little feature coming down here. I'm impressed with this. I like this so far. All right, so heading aft from the solarium or I believe on the main pool deck, right over here we have slush. I believe this is where you can get some of your frozen cocktails uh, throughout the cruise. They have some chairs over here. They have a hammock right here. No one's in it. Probably the only time this cruise we're gonna see that. Very nice. And then they have these big lounger day bed situations going on here. These windows they have over here are pretty cool. They open. They have uh, some like this on some of the older Royal ships also, but you can open the windows here, get some breeze in throughout the day. If we take a look out, you see it's a beautiful day here in Fort Lauderdale. It's only about 11.35. And then this is the main pool area, completely empty now, so a great time to be getting these shots. The pool bar here, there's seating right here by the pool. And uh, then we see two hot tubs. There's a, this is, uh, I think, no, it's not one long pool. It's actually two pools. There's a little bridge there in the middle. And you see you got the upper seating up here. There's some shaded seating there. And more seating over here. So this is great. Very quaint. Uh, everything feels tighter, but this isn't a huge ship. So um, I don't really know what comparison to make it to right now, what type of a ship I would say. Oh, it's about the same size as this ship. But um, yeah, it's very nice. They got an area back here, I guess this is where they can have entertainment set up right here, a little stage, a little dance area right here. Uh, and then you can see the entirety of the pool deck right back there, the pool bar up against the wall up there. There's also the mass grill up there. That's sort of where you can get hamburgers, hot dogs, things like that. That's up there on the left. And then on the right, let me zoom in here. On the left is the mass grill. On the right is the mass bar, which is like the pool bar. I think they have a similar menu. And I think, that the oh, maybe not I thought that the, oh yeah there's more staterooms back here so we're gonna have to go up I think to deck 14 maybe to get the ocean view I wanted to check out ocean view with you guys let's look down here down into the atrium they have a huge library here we'll check that out in a bit two-story library which is really cool you can see down uh, the atrium they have elevators extending all the way up into this outer portion Just had lunch at Ocean View Cafe and when I was going in they actually got me on a dining package because they had the three night dining package so I'm gonna actually eat at three of the specialty dining options here on board the Equinox uh, and I think that's only fair because I did eat at a lot of specialty dining on those other ships and I want to do a fair comparison so I'm gonna have a food video coming out where I talk about all the food here on board the Celebrity Equinox so make sure you look for that make sure you subscribe but the food in Ocean View Cafe was just okay one thing to note they are back to self-serve. So during the pandemic, of course, all the cruise lines went to, there was a staff member, a crew member rather, serving everyone their food. You were not touching any of the utensils or anything. And that's just the way it was on Celebrity. But today was the first time I've ever served myself food on a Celebrity ship. So it was weird to serve myself, even though I know Carnival has been back to that for a while and I've done it on their ships. I think Royal was already doing that when I was on them MSC. So I've done it before over the past year or so, but it just felt weird on Celebrity. Not the best food I've had in Ocean View Cafe, but like I said, we'll review all the food uh, later on in another video. But uh, yeah, just gonna explore more of the ship. Uh, and then 
I'm having dinner at Murano tonight, I guess, because I bought the dinner package that they got me into here just inside the Ocean View Cafe on the first day of the cruise, making sure they sell those dining packages. So there's the entrance to Ocean View Cafe on deck 14. We're gonna walk up to deck 15 and show you something very cool up here. So up here on deck 15 is actually the lawn. And y'all, this is real grass. And you don't even have to mow it. It's the best part. Um, but in at the absence of a rooftop garden or anything like that, they actually do have real grass here on deck 15. Uh, and I've been excited to see this and what this looks like. It's pretty wild to be on the top of a cruise ship, the top deck, and see grass. They also have here, uh, right up here, this is again deck 15, they have cabanas that you can rent, or they call them alcoves here. You can see, I think there's six. There's three over here on this side, and then three over here on that side. And then they also have a hot glass class. This three can actually come and do, they don't call it glass blowing, they call it hot glass, but it's just like glass blowing. I think it was something like $120 per person, but you can see some of the stuff that you can make over there and then they have uh some seats out here so i'm not sure if they might do a show or something you know throughout the cruise here they also have a big screen here much like muse 2 on the rooftop garden um so yeah this is uh the rooftop lawn i guess i'm not sure the exact name of it uh, but it is real grass you can see i feel weird walking on the grass um but yeah, this is wild on a cruise ship, grass. That grass was wet. My shoes are wet now after walking across the grass. They do have golf at sea, so here we have some uh, clubs back here and some golf balls. And they have, you see the flags out here for each of the holes that they have. So that's pretty neat. A lot of different things you can do back here. Um, on deck 15, on the lawn, come back here and watch a movie. You can uh, do putt-putt, or you can come back here to the Sunset Bar. And of course the Sunset Bar is on all of Celebrity ships. It's sort of the staples on those ships. Uh, and this is the one here on board the Equinox. Y'all, I'm so invested in this grass now. I have so many questions about it. So this grass right here, they have it roped off. And there's a sign down there saying, do not step on it because they're caring for it. Uh, and you can see they've got some seed down right there trying to grow more. But how in the world do they mow this? Like, how do they cut this? It looks so well manicured and taken care of. I just want to know that. And I have heard that there is this one crew member on board that's a, responsible for all the greenery on board. So the grass, the plants, the flowers, all that. But I am really intrigued and invested in this grass situation. It is really cool. Here are the buttons for the elevator. They're not actually over here. Where you would expect them to be so every time i walk up to the elevator i'm really confused thank you so in here is the main theater let's just check this out because i haven't seen it yet very cool it's very reminiscent when you walk in um, of the theater on the edge class ships but it is different in here the stage isn't as much in the round as the stage is on those ships uh, but it does look like a very nice theater I'm excited to see uh, the shows that they have I know that tonight they're having a singer uh, a couple nights they have a comedian so I'm really excited to get in here they also have the stage production shows as well so it'd be exciting to check out some of the shows on board this week and I'll be sure to let you know in my full Celebrity Equinox ship review, my steps review that I do, exactly how the shows and entertainment are on board. Celebrity Central, I think, is another theater type thing. So let's go check out and see exactly what this is. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's open. Okay, so this is Celebrity Central. And I think Celebrity Central is probably a lot like the club venue that they have on the edge class ship. So, so you can see this is just a smaller version of the theater. There's a stage up there. This reminds me of the uh, Punchline or Comedy Clubs on Carnival ships, but much nicer. So uh, this is neat. I hope they have some things in here because uh, it's very cool and very nice. Uh, and I just like the overall vibe in this room.
When I was in there, they came on and did an announcement saying that they want everyone to go complete their muster drill. So they're still doing the e-muster. I think that's probably going to be uh, the continued way of doing muster drill into the future. Let me know in the comments, though. I'm really interested to see what people think. So do you think that e-muster is going to continue now that we're getting out of the pandemic and now that cruising is really resumed like it was before the pandemic? Uh, do you think e-muster is here to stay? Personally, I do, and I like it because I think it's more efficient, but I haven't done mine yet. So as we're walking around, I need to make sure I get to my muster station before I forget because they will start calling people out over the uh, announcement system here pretty soon. So I'm on deck four now. Back here is the casino, Fortune's Casino. Uh, and then we got over on this side of the ship, over here on the port side. Uh, these are actually, I think, some of the shops. I think we're going to start walking down the promenade. Yep. And uh, I've seen pictures of this, y'all, so get ready. I think this looks incredible. I love um, the open concept. So this is decks four and five up there above. This is beautiful, though. These, this is what I was talking about earlier, these sort of white, uh, you know, I don't even know what you call that, these white fabric things. They look like curtains, the white curtains that they have hanging here. And as you walk in between, you have the different shops and things that they have here along the promenade. You got the casino over here to your left. So uh, beautiful space here on board the Equinox. I love this. See, this is what I know of celebrity. This is what I expect of celebrity. This is why I sell celebrity. Uh, just the beauty of these ships. They're not losing me on the Solstice class because it does have a beauty. It's a different beauty. It's not the same as the E-Class, but wow, this is gorgeous. Up there's some art. Not as much art on this ship as the E-Class ships, but there is a lot of art still. Uh, more art than you'd find on other lines, for sure. So now we're getting into the, the atrium area. This over here is the Martini Bar, which a lot of people have told me about. I know a lot of people love this. It's actually, uh, I think the top of it is frozen. So a lot of folks like that. And that's the Martini Bar here on deck four. And then here we have the main atrium here. Uh, and you can see it's the staircase ascending down. Uh, in between those elevator banks there. So this is a nice place to gather and have things. And then across over there is Craft Social, which we know from the E-Class ships. And I know World Class Bar is around here also, which we saw on Celebrity Beyond. Here's the martini bar where we just were and just beyond that back here toward the aft on deck four is the silhouette dining room and i think also on deck five as well but this is one of the entrances uh, and i think a lot of the main dining venues are actually back here in the back of the ship sort of contained together and then here we have another great view of the atrium Okay, so we're in the Ensemble Lounge now, and over here is actually the entrance to Murano right over there. That's where I'll be dining tonight, and I'll tell you about how that was in my food review video that's forthcoming. But down here is, uh, like I told you, a lot of the dining venues here on board are actually contained in one area. So here you can see they have Cuisine, which is the sort of like the same as La Petite Chefs and Family. It's where they do the animated movie along with your dinner. They have Tuscan Grill and Blue. Oh, my favorite. I love Blue. Blue, of course, is the exclusive restaurant for those guests staying in Aqua Class. We'll be dining at Tuscan Grill this cruise, so we'll be showing you that, but this is where you check in for that. And then you have those dining venues back here in the back. We are on deck five uh, in the aft of the ship. And this is also... All these venues are open right now because everybody's doing their e-muster. So uh, that's why there's a lot of folks here congregated. I finally just finished my mustard drill. It was very easy. My mustard station was actually in the Equinox Theater, so I had to go all the way back forward because I was in the back of the ship getting some dining things taken care of. All the way back forward, got that all taken care of. So now, y'all, we are officially on a cruise. It is 1 p.m. I think we depart at 4 p.m. because 
tomorrow we have a day at sea, but then our second day on, uh, that'll be on Monday evening, we're actually gonna be in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we don't arrive till 4 p.m. So we gotta get out of here as soon as we can so that we make Puerto Rico on time. I am really excited, y'all. This ship is pretty cool. Like, I was quite worried because I have only been on those new ships that uh, Equinox would change my opinion of Celebrity. But so far, that is not the case. Uh, this ship has everything I love about Celebrity, and it's just packaged a little bit differently. Uh, all the crew that I've interacted with has been great so far. They've been very helpful. Uh, there are noticeably more people on this ship, I think, than I've seen on any Celebrity ship so far. Uh, I think we're probably going to be close to 80 or 90 percent capacity on this ship so it will be interesting to see what the cruise is like with more people as well but y'all we are on a cruise we're on the Equinox look back here uh, you can see a beautiful day here in Fort Lauderdale and I'm so excited uh, I know I keep saying that but uh, I just don't know how else to express my excitement for the cruise that I'm on and for the next eight days on board this amazing ship <laughs> So all the way forward here on deck 14 is the Sky Observation Lounge. And this lounge is accessible to anyone, not just folks of a particular class or suites or anything like that. Everyone can come here. And it's the very forward of the ship. So look at those stunning views that you have. A lot of seating right up against those big windows, floor to ceiling windows. We'll walk all the way up here to the front, show you out. So the bar is here, about the center of the room, and then you can take your drink and come to any of these tables around. I think this is lovely. And you can see if we look here all the way forward, we are at the very, very front of the ship. So here on the other side of the elevator bank, which is right here behind me on deck 14, is the meeting place. The meeting place is a conference space where you can have meetings. They have uh, different types of conferencing capabilities. They have a screen up there. They have places for you to sit. So if you ever dreamed of having your conference on board a cruise ship, this is your opportunity. This is your place. The meeting place, uh, I think they have these on most all celebrity cruise ships. I know they're on the Edge Class ships. Uh, they're not in the same exact location, but they do have them. So what an amazing day it's been so far. What an amazing ship this has turned out to be. There are differences some subtle, some major differences from the Edge Class, that's for sure. Uh, but if you are used to the celebrity experience, the good quality service, uh, I've seen that so far today. I have seen uh, the service is very press because there are more people, but, so there's more demand on the service than what I've seen on the Edge. But on those ships, I was only selling with less than 1,100 people. We probably have 2,000 or more people on this ship. So it's gonna be interesting to see throughout the course of the cruise just how that service holds up with all the people on board. So all the gangways are pulled back from the ship. So that leads me to believe that the Celebrity Equinox is soon to sell for San Juan, Puerto Rico. We have about 960 nautical miles to go to Puerto Rico. We're also gonna be visiting St. Thomas, St. Martin, Tortola, and Nassau. So we're ready to set sail. Take a look out, you see the Celebrity Infinity out there. She's about to head to Key West and the Western Caribbean, Belize and Cozumel. And then up here we have the Caribbean Princess, way up there. Yeah, we're ready to head out of here. I think we have everybody and ready to set sail to the Eastern Caribbean. So with that being said, I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and enjoyed the embarkation day, the boarding day here on board the Celebrity Equinox and some of the differences between 
the Equinox and the Edge class of ships that I've shown you. We have a lot more coverage to come here from the Celebrity Equinox and this cruise. I'm very excited about it. So make sure you go down below and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know what you want to see here on the Equinox. Any questions you have. Make sure you come back because we have a lot more content to go. We're stopping at San Juan. We're stopping at St. Martin, at St. Thomas, at Tortola, at Nassau. So there's a lot of coverage to come here on the channel from this cruise on the Celebrity Equinox. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.